it, it's smiling at me. <laughs> Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Binging with Babish, where this week we're taking a look at Chinese turkey, aka Peking duck. Something that I've always wanted to try making and something that relies heavily on the Chinese five spice mixture, that of cinnamon, clove, star anise, fennel seed, and Szechuan peppercorn. You can buy this stuff pre-ground, but as usual with most dried spices, it's going to benefit from being toasted and freshly ground. So that's just what we're gonna do. We're going to toast these in a dry skillet until fragrant, take out the cinnamon sticks and give them a good smash, dump everything into our dedicated spice grinder, this is not used for grinding coffee, and grind to a fine powder. Now you can keep this in your spice rack and it will taste worlds better than any of the pre-ground stuff. Next up, a marinade for the cavity of the duck, which is pretty much just hoisin sauce. In a medium bowl, combine four tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of honey, a small knob of freshly grated ginger and a single clove of freshly grated garlic, two teaspoons of seasoned rice vinegar, two teaspoons of sesame seed oil. If this sauce gets too thin, you can add cornstarch to thicken, but not until after we've added our thickening agents. That is, a tablespoon of chili garlic sauce, two tablespoons of smooth peanut butter, a few solid pinches of our five spice mixture, a good twist of freshly ground pepper, and maybe two tablespoons of brown sugar. Whisk to combine and again add cornstarch as necessary. Now, for the faint of heart, you might want to look away because we've got a head-on young Peking duck. Into whose cavity we're going to dump about maybe half of the hoisin sauce and then we're going to stitch the cavity closed using a bamboo skewer. As you can see, I'm sort of wrapping the skin around the skewer for each stitch. Now, for what was certainly the weirdest part of my day, I am fitting the tip of an air compressor hose with the finger of a rubber glove that I've cut a hole into like a very, very ineffective prophylactic, shoving to the next skin of the duck and cranking the compressor on, inflating the duck and separating the skin from the meat, which is going to allow the fat to better render and give us crispier, browner skin skin. Next up, we need to scald the duck in a mixture of about four cups of water, maybe a quarter cup of soy sauce, and a few of our whole Chinese five spice spices. Bring to a boil, carefully hold the duck over top, and ladle across the skin until it starts to take on a nice golden color and the skin tightens up considerably. Now, ideally, you want this guy to rest in the fridge uncovered for at least one day and up to three, but if you're like me and you had the idea for this episode the day before it airs, we need a shortcut and a very effective way to wrap rapidly dry skin is with a hair dryer. It's also an opportunity to pull out any stray feathers that the butcher might have missed. Now it's time to roast at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for one to one and a half hours. While the bird roasts, it's time to make some Mandarin style pancakes. We're going to add two thirds of a cup of boiling water to 10 ounces of plain all purpose flour. Mix until a shaggy dough forms turn out onto a floured worktop and knead until smooth and supple. Roll into a two inch log and divide into 24 pieces, each of which we're then going to divide again in half and keeping the other pieces under plastic wrap until we're ready to use them, roll out to about a three inch round, both pieces on a well floured work surface, and then brush one side with sesame seed oil, very, very light film of sesame seed oil. Sandwich the two together and roll out to a seven to nine inch pancake, which kind of like a fresh tortilla, we're going to toast in a dry pan until light brown spots form. Once all the pancakes are done, it's time to retrieve our duck. Now, this guy did not turn out as evenly browned as a traditional Peking duck because it had not been allowed to air dry overnight. But the skin is still super crisp and the meat is nice and juicy and the head smiling as ever. Now it's time to simply carve the duck, remove the wings and legs, and then slice the breast meat into about half inch slices. You'll have to forgive my haste, but this is the first thing I've eaten all day and my whole apartment has been smelling like duck and spices for hours now. Fill up a pancake with duck, thinly slice cucumber and scallions and then top with a bit of our reserved hoisin sauce. Now again, air drying the duck overnight or up to three days is going to give you darker skin and more flavorful meat, but as far as shortcuts go, this one is a keeper.